Mama? Yeah. Hey, so, um, Star Wars Episode Nine trailer just dropped. Okay, great. Yeah, it's, um, it's going to be called Rise of the Skywalker. Oh, okay, love Luke Skywalker. I mean, probably not Luke, and guess what? Okay, what? Emperor Palpatine's not dead. But, no, no, you better say that again. I don't think I understood you. Emperor Palpatine, he's not dead. Of course he's dead. What? I just want to be the one you love. I just want to be the one you love. Well, let's just get right into this. Episode 9 trailer has dropped, and we have seen that Rey is now full force. She's in her, her, her whole ordeal now, right? She is, she is a Jedi, and it all rests on her shoulders. Um, my biggest thing that I'm going to focus on in this particular video is the fact that Palpatine is still alive. True story, bro. Palpatine is still alive, and... I don't know about you guys, but that actually pisses me off a lot. Like, a lot. Because Palpatine was the big the big baddie in episode six, right? He was the end. He was the, the final thing, the final boss, right? And Luke, by way of Vader or Anakin, uh, he killed him. He killed him, right? That was Luke's grand crowning achievement. He saved his father and killed Palpatine. But that's gone now. That's gone. It's retconned. Because now we have Rey. And Rey must poach everything that Luke Skywalker ever did. She must poach everything. We can't possibly allow Luke to simply maintain his grandeur. We have to steal everything that he's ever done from him. And we have to hand it to Rey. Mary Sue Rey. I'm so irate right now. I cannot see straight. Because at this point, there's nothing she hasn't taken from him. Everything Luke ever did to build a world that could live in peace and harmony has been taken from him and gifted to Rey. For no reason that we can see. Now she's in her, her glory doing Matrix maneuvers and Palpatine is back. And I'm sorry, guys, I understand the nostalgia feeling, right? Like, I get it. Palpatine's back and we're so excited because Palpatine is the big baddie but can we not repeat everything and I mean at this point everything that the original trilogy did can we not repeat absolutely everything I'm sorry Jar Jar but you got no new ideas you got nothing you can lay out there for us that can be fresh and invigorating. You just poach and take from the first original trilogy every little thing that you like. Oh, let the past die. Kill it if you have to, right? Kill the past. But this isn't killing the past. This is poaching the past. You're taking everything that we've ever loved and you're, you're appropriating it for your own means and purposes. This, guys, I realized that this was, this was a pretty good trailer, right? Like, it was beautiful. Lots of pretty flashing lights up on that screen. And I'm with you 100%. It looked really, really pretty, Jar Jar. You got a great eye for cinema, and I'll grant you that 110%. But at the end of the day, you don't have anything of substance for us. You don't have anything. Oh my god, I need a drink. So, at this point, we're, uh, we're standing on the precipice. We have our first trailer. Palpatine's back. Race full fledged. The only thing we got out of Luke was a voiceover. So he's a force ghost and he's dead. And that's all there is to that. Um, I really would say that the only thing that I truly enjoyed from that trailer was seeing Lando in the cockpit of, of the Millennium Falcon with, with Chewie. That was nice, but I know what it is. It's just them taking this nostalgia that we have and, and serving it up and, and handing us what they think it is that we want to see. It's not going to mean anything. It's not going to matter. It's not going to it's not going to have anything to do with anything in the grand scheme of things. And I'm so frustrated because I had so much hope when I first found out that Disney was taking over Star Wars. I was so excited. I was so excited because Disney, the founder of my childhood, right? The place where I went to go and relive my youth. 
and it's just turned into a complete and utter catastrophe. And now Palpatine's back. Palpatine's back. Is that what you have for us? Ray is Ray is now everything. As if we didn't already know that. But to take this from Luke, to take his victory, his achievement, the one thing he did to save the galaxy, to take that from Luke, it makes me mad. It makes me really, really mad. So, <laughs> I'm as firm as ever. Boycott Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of the Skywalker. Oh yeah? She's a Skywalker? Yeah. And I'm a freaking otter. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And hey, feel free to follow me over on Twitter. See you guys around.